What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 13, I believe, of Wrecked Bike Rebuild, the YouTube motorcycle build series where we take wrecked motorcycles, we rebuild them, we make them look cool and better than they were before, and then we get to give them away thanks to all the beautiful people over on Patreon. If you guys haven't checked out the build over there, highly recommend it. We actually give the bike away at the end of the series to one of the people that supported the show. That's how we're able to do this. My name is Chase on Two Wheels. The guy behind the camera is Luke, and Brian will be joining us momentarily to get back to working on the bobber build that we have here. If you guys didn't see, highly recommend you watching the last episode. What we did was create a battery box here. So we have lowered the bobber. We don't have as much room here. We talked about this all last episode, but we basically made this custom battery box, riveted it, and made it so we can use smaller battery. In today's episode, we will be finishing the tank, not tank, seat mounting, along with finalizing and customizing the foot pegs. We have the parts here, boop, these guys, but obviously they don't just mount in. It's a bobber, we're custom making everything, or lots of the stuff, and that's what we're gonna be doing in today's episode. Now, let it go. cut our piece to stock we've already tapered the ends of it so it kind of matches the uh, the angle of the frame tubes here so we've got that all cut out we've made marks punch marks already for the holes that we need to drill and here we go so that's that uh, I think we're gonna try and get this thing as pretty much as far forward as we can get it of three and a half. Math. us making things happen but now what we could do is um yes so is there we... only one bolt in the bottom of that seat yeah is there supposed to be a second one what is oh those bolts are for the springs oh two bolts go on the front oh i see no i assume once we have those on tight the seat won't be able to push forward correct okay so why don't we go ahead and tighten these Lower that down. These are way tall. So you're gonna attempt to basically just mount the springs to the seat yep. alone. Not quite at the right angle. We have flexibility on the horizontal plane, right? Like we can go left or right. We just can't do the angle. Yes. So, I mean, if we just like, lined it up with these and then we do something funky with these bolts right here like put longer ones in there yeah with a spacer so they stick up and kind of just hooks on yeah, like you all right chase good. climb up and take a seat real quick how's that feel for a seat Ooh. you're good so i'm gonna be realistically feet will be like what like here. a little further 
Like right where the bolts come out. I mean, that doesn't feel bad. The seat looks super. All right, I'm getting up. That's two, that's two sounds. I was gonna say the seat looks really tiny, but it's actually comfortable. What are you trying to make them do right now? Fit over the top of that bolt. I think if we just put a longer bolt uh -huh. with a little bit of a spacer for the springs to slide over the top of it, it'll be fine. Oh, wow. they're a little, a little too long. You know what? Do we have longer bolts? And boom. What you think? Look at that. We went from like thinking the seat was gonna have to be another day. Dude, I was about ready to crank my bike up and get the out of here. I saw that on your face too. I was like, bro, Luke's about to be like, all right, this, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. Oh God, it, here's the look on your face when like, uh, hold on to the chair. Oh my God. It was totally like this. You were holding the camera like with one arm. And you were like this. Yeah. Like. <laughs> the distraughtness. Was real. <laughs> Dude, that's not bad. That's uh, that's way easier than my little like, hey, we should just go buy another metal, metal bar. But like, seriously, it's like once they're on there, yeah, they're like actually you had on there to, pretty like, good. You had to pull it up and then hit it. Yep. Yeah, and if you're sitting on the bike. Yeah, like, for sure. Unless you're about to <gasps> pop a dank wheel. Even if you were, you're not gonna stand up on this thing. You gotta and plant your ass in the seat. Well, There's no standing up on the foot pegs to do a wheelie on shit like this. Okay, uh, is that seat complete? I believe the seat is complete. I'm not gonna sit it on again because I already feel fat that I broke something, so. We didn't break anything, so now you need to sit on it again. <gasps> Brian. Because you know, now it's not going to shift around. It's just gonna be there and be planted. All right, you've convinced me. <laughs> Realistically, this is about where I'm gonna be. Yep. That, like comparatively, when we were doing the, the bars and shit like that, like being down here, like I think this bike is actually gonna be nice to ride. Like it's gonna look really cool, but like the person's not gonna be like, I wanna ride my cool bike, but like I hate riding it. All right, on to the foot pegs. Do you wanna do the handlebar, like throw it on first? We can. I know we only have one uh, riser, but or do you think we should just skip it? I mean, it'd be nice to have bars up there so we kind of know where we're at. But. Okay. Um, well, let's throw one ooh, of the risers ooh. on. Wait, I don't think we've showed the people the final risers yet. Let's see that expensive boy, Brian. Da -da -da -da. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So Roland Sands is the company, right? Oops, upside down. There you go. Roland Sands. It's the same company that we got the reservoir for, the lever integrated thing. So we've made a group decision. We are going to cut this, like the episode will continue, but we're going to continue next week. And we'll start off, we might do a little bit of work throughout the week. You guys will see that now. Otherwise, we are going to go to next weekend when we continue this build situation. Ooh, you think I could do the pull thing like I did in that one episode? I'm gonna pull the next episode in. Hold there on. There you go. All right. All right, guys, welcome to second part of this video. What's going on, guys? So we're now back. It's been a week, and uh, we are now going to continue this episode. Brian, you ready? What are, what are we, like, foot pegs and handlebars and... I am ready for a nap. Not a good time for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where we were at before we uh, decided we, we got to. Our custom battery box made. Yes, yeah, so like last, uh, last episode we did the battery box. We did the seat pan or the, uh, the electronic cover, if you will, to cover right. all of our electronics in here. We did our seat bracket mount. 
which is uh, on the bench top over there behind Luke at the moment. Um, and then from here, we are going to install the handlebars. Right. So we have, you know, seat, handlebars, then we do foot pegs. Okay, and we're doing that so we can get a, because the foot pegs are important for the body position of the rider. So we got to get that done. I'm interested um, to see this whole foot peg situation because on my end, I've just watched you and Luke talk about like, yeah, this piece of metal stick, we can cut that and put a bolt here. And I'm like, I don't know why I talk like you guys are rednecks, but like. I don't know either, because I am anything about sound. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm so used to like saying something like my cousin say and like, I'm from South Georgia. Anyway, sorry about that guys, didn't mean to offend. Okay. Um, yes, he did. I did it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's show these people the, uh, the risers we got since they're, um, that was that was smooth, Chase. Let's. I like your transition. Roll them, <laughs> dude. I'm just like. No, we introduced like this is the uh, continuation. Yeah. <laughs> just that would be three and four, Chase. How many fingers you got up there? Oh, I guess two and three. There were... you go. There you go. <laughs> um, Look at you throwing gang signs at the at the camera. And what are you trying to do? Wait, I didn't. I'm. <laughs> All right, here you go, Brian. Here's the risers. You Thanks, and Luke buddy. have a good time. You know what? Here for safety. Uh, all right, just all right. Like, me... Here we go. All right, guys. Wait, did my hat land right there? Yeah, just like that. Look at how the hat landed. That's all... okay. You know what? I. You I'm look, ready to go. You look. Wow. <laughs> I hope I look that cool when I'm wearing these things. Right. right. Here. Okay, uh, risers are rolling sands because rolling sands is expensive and looks cool, but they suck. That's not a really good thing to put on. I don't talking I, about demonetized. No, here's the thing. That's I how think, I feel. <laughs> I can say that. I think rolling sands has some of the coolest products. The way like they look cool, they work great, but they're expensive and they come with no hardware. So I got like a love-hate relationship. Well, you can't say they didn't come with any hardware. They didn't come with all the hardware because they did come with these bolts, didn't they? I doubt it. I'm just a little salty. You are. I think, I think they got a good product. I just wish, you know. Anyway, the rolling sands up here are gonna match our levers that are also rolling sands. So there's that. So yeah, installing those is like just bolts and shit, right? Do you have everything? I have a bolt and I have a riser. Oh, we need the handlebars? We need our cool little, um... Dude, let's get these things mounted, handlebars up, and see where we're at. Dude, you want to talk about some, some like, tight clearances? Like, let's get these things... Uh, yeah, it's... Mm. I'm still really stoked over our uh, seat bracket here. Yeah, you know, for Rec Like Reboot, it kind of went together pretty well. It was quick, too. Yeah, we didn't waste a ton of time. No, it just kind of came together pretty quickly. Man, it's awesome when you're working with a professional. That's you, Brian. That, that would be me? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely not me. Okay. The only thing I'm efficient at is something I'm not even doing. That's you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna consider this an advanced prototype I, I could live with that. Creation process. So we did get a couple things out of this. We are able to mount it between here and here and have clearance between everything underneath, which is right. really what we needed. Yeah. Uh, so now that we know that we could do that, if we need to make, when we do make our, our, final. our second prototype, hopefully it'll be the final at our second prototype. Right. Um, we are going to extend this piece up a little bit further so we can cover the fuel tank mounting bracket as well as try and fill in these gaps here on the side. So you're not looking down into oblivion underneath the seat. We kind of just want to finish it off just a little bit cleaner. And then that piece will get powder coated. Like everything we're doing. Is going to be painted, powder coated, or, right. or brushed, or something is going to happen to it in some way, shape, or form. Right, the only thing that's finished right now, obviously Every, the wheels. Almost. Oh, right, and then mm -hmm. the tank. 
literally this entire bike is going to get torn to entire pieces. We basically have so, to get this bike to the point where we can ride it out of the garage. Yeah, and like, you know, 20 different colors or whatever it is, you know, when, when we're done with the pre-assembly, it should be rideable. As a, as a visual person, it kills me to do a bike like this because it's everything is like, oh yeah, we plan on making that. Like, you know, with the ZX-10, it's like, you know it looks dope as you get it. Well, you know, it's a, uh, there's, there's... That's why we're doing this type of build though. So yes, it, it is a different style of build to do it how we're doing it right now. With the foot pegs, you guys have been talking about using the old mounting brackets to mount the new... So instead of uh, trying to make foot pegs completely from scratch, we're going to start with the brackets that the floorboards were mounted to, Turn which are right over here. This is the brake side, which we've already, Luke has been kind enough to already start disassembling for us. So this is the existing hardware that was already in the, wait, how are we gonna mount this and not? Wait, so question, how? Oh, it goes in that direction. That's not good. Not all the way in, already tight. Uh -oh. I grabbed the tap and die set just in case, Brian. Called the electrician. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate it. There you go. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, power is. What? What? Like. I mean, the only thing on was the lights and. The heater's off. Like, so. Yeah, if anything, we helped it. Oh, and this is back recording now. Yeah. Weird. That was weird. It's already haunted. Oh, look at it. No, 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 no. Just record anything but the door. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the ghost is pissed that Brian's working and not me? It did happen right when we... Right, right after that conversation. Okay, so um, we don't need to drill this because we're not going to use that hole. Is that what you're getting at? We do need to grind this flat, though. This little extra bump. Yeah, if you can see with this piece that was welded on here. Yeah. That needs to come off. So this is just this main flat piece of metal is left. Uh, uh, let me just reorient myself with this again. All right. All right, so strategy, am I going in and like this or am I just rah? Take it off the edge. over here is, doesn't go as tall as the other side. Correct. So yep. you're saying we measure everything here. From that side and then duplicate it on this side. Yeah. I'd like to make it as high as I can. That'll give you more ground clearance. Okay, why is there a, uh, why is there a hammer situation? What's happening here? Oh, oh, do we have to? Were you just hitting it to make it in this? Yes. Oh, okay, solid. Oh, because it's, there's no hole. You, ca oh, you catching up yet, Chase? Oh, I did not realize. Because the brine's indent was so good, I thought there was a hole there. I hope we have a drill bit big enough. Oh, we got a drill bit big. Yeah, exactly. 
we got that half inch. Yeah, I think that's bigger than half inch. I'm gonna start with significantly smaller one here, Chase. Because oh. I'm just drilling a pilot to start. So does, the, does that mean the second one is your co-pilot? Uh, no. <laughs> Can you see if that drill bit fits in the hole on the other side? It's already there. It's it will too, not. It's too big. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should drill that hole out first and see that's if as a test. Yeah, because it's already that big. You see, guys, just because Brian's the professional doesn't mean we don't try to test him here. <laughs> uh -huh. That hurt. Man, did that hurt. You all right? Oh, that fucking hurt. Okay, this is why we have uh, secondary recordings. Wow. Brian, you scared? You got me uh, a little worried there for a second. Yeah, that hurt. I thought you broke something. And knowing you, that one, uh, sort of. If something is to the point where you're like, man, that, that hurt. hurt, then I'm like, oh, fuck, that hurt. All right, going to the hospital. Here we go. All right. Strategy is press like what? Like uh, high pressure, low speed. I already have it on low, so you can pretty much just let it run. Hmm, I see, okay. Good. Okay, let's let that cool off for a second. Yeah. It got your wrist a little bit. A little bit, but like it wasn't anywhere near as far yours, as it but, turned mine around. But like the second <laughs> that you get in it, it bites the edges real hard. Yeah, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, pretty much done. That's it. That's just it. It just knocked the you feel that now. I mean, yeah, you can see it doesn't it have just a jaggedy took anymore. the little tiny beveled edge off of it, and that's all we needed. Yeah, I, mean, I guess the inside. What are you doing right now? Trying to get this right where it'll move freely here. Mm -hmm. So the brake will return easily. There's like a, a range of throw in this thing that is nice and free where the other side is a little, little stiff. So, so how smoother did, that is. Yeah, absolutely. It comes to there and then it gets stiff because because of the way the bushings are set up in here. So you just, you. Okay. Found the loose spot and that's where I tightened it in. Okay. People would refer to that as clocking, which is what you want to, you know, like when you put bar ends on and there's a logo on it, you wanna make sure that they're clocked in the same way, right, left. Oh, when you have grips that are different on the top and the bottom of the grip, mm -hmm. you can't just put one on one way and one however it wants. When it's sitting without you grabbing the grips, you want it to be even. Some so you have to would, no. just throw them on because they don't know the difference, but you wanna clock everything so everything is kind of even. So the question is, you got that whole, like, where it needs to be. Yep. But now how do you make the perfect? Measure. measure like plus. 30 times until we get all of our measurements that we need. Right. Once we get the foot peg where we want, we'll do it the same way. We'll put the piece of tape on, put the foot where it is, give it a smack so it'll leave a mark and we'll center punch from there. Now I'm curious, there is a hole over here. We're probably gonna wind up cutting that off because it's so high. Oh, okay, so the hole we're probably gonna want is gonna be like right Yeah, it's there. probably gonna be like right underneath where this one is, like right here. Oh, okay. Somewhere like right there. So what are you measuring from? Like the wood so we're or? looking at, yeah, we're looking at the distance. We could probably use the lift and go from the lift to the bottom of the foot peg. Right. And then that'll know our, we'll get our height there. Mm -hmm. And then we need to pick a point front to back is there, is there a way to measure that? For we'll, we'll find a point on the frame that's the same on both sides and we'll measure off of that. There we go. 10 inches, exactly. That's pretty neat. Can you uh, clean that off real quick? Cause I'm gonna put a piece of tape on it. Yeah, just like that. Building, things, lasers, perfect. <laughs> Woo! Beards alive. There ain't no way I got that first shot. You mean knock it? You mean knock the shit out of it? I will knock the shit out of it, Brian. Okay. I did not get it the first shot. 
boy, this cold air got me all pumped. Pumped. Like, look at that. Look, look, at, look at the chills. One more time. One for good luck. Use your man arm. There we go. Okay. Um, Don't worry, Brian. I got you. Get. I'm, I'm gonna get you set up. Um, you can never be too ready. Where'd that marker go? I got you, Brian. Brian, right here. <laughs> Damn it. You almost there? No. No! <laughs> I didn't get you pulling it away. Oh. I'm gonna do it again. No, I'm good. That was literally. You're probably covered in metal now. The timing, though, like I was literally. Like reaching my for fingers it? fingers were around right here. And it was just <laughs> like, no. That's why I was like, you got it yet? Like, are you close? I was wondering because I thought you wanted me to, like, throw it to you quickly or something, but. We need to we need to figure out the front to back too before we uh, make any final punch marks. Oh, Star Trek! Oh my God! Stab him! Stab him right now! No! Wait! Right? Is that not right? No, it's not fucking right, Chase. God. You're not even close to being right. Ryan, what is there you it? go. Ryan, Ryan. This one works better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let your viewers. I'm gonna let your viewers rip you apart for that one. Also, okay, Star Wars, not Trek. I don't know. Also, jokes on y'all. Firefox, Peppy is like it's a trap, and then the little frog has to do Star Wars and Star Fox. Anyway, my apologies to all the nerds out there. Okay, okay. That's literally right where it's supposed to be. That was engaging power stance? Yes, you could let that go now. <sighs> all right, boys, time to drill. This time I did it before I put it on. Right. You're not slick with your little, I'm gonna look at Chase at certain times to try to catch him doing things. Did it really? Wait, so what does what does tightening that do? That's what actually gives us its freedom of movement. So the bolt goes in through the center of the foot peg. All of this stuff is slid onto the center piece. So when you put this bolt in, it pulls the foot peg up against this metal piece, but this collar is not touching it. This collar is strictly here to hold all this stuff in its place. Okay, so that's foot pegs then? That's foot pegs. Nice. So far, they're not finished. Right. So now, somebody needs to climb up there and verify foot peg location. That would be you, Chase. Yeah, why not? Do you want us to lower it down? Nah. Would that make you feel better? Nope. Look at that, you got a nice comfy seat to put your butt in now? No. I got some really cool... Oh, everything's different now. How does that feel now? Oh wait, the back of my feet will be on these because I'll need to... 
the shifter and brake space, yeah. I mean, this is about... Where you wanted it to be? Body position-wise, like, this is what I envisioned myself being, like, on this thing. Like, legs kind of, like... Bent. Not, like not in, too in, far up against you. Right, because in my head, I wanted to be... If I'm cruising, obviously, like, I'm not keeping the bike, but, like, I would want to do, like, this situation. You know what I mean? Like, have, like, just chilling. This is... I, I want to go down the highway, and I want to get in this position, because I feel just like... Just roll out. No, yeah, I want to be on the highway with this arm, like, just chilling like I don't give a shit. And just like cruising. Now, those bars don't look that wide. Oh, because... Now, if they're not as wide as your knees are apart. They're like the same right. width as how far apart your knees are, and they don't stick out as far as the foot pegs do. Does this look cool as shit? That does look pretty damn cool like, right now. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm kind of stoked right now on the foot peg situation, and because this is the first time we've been able to like be in a situation where this is the feel like because you know we did the handlebars and it was like whatever right but you didn't, you didn't have your feet down to know exactly where they were really exactly. gonna be it was and i had to like bring them in happy right, with so that that went do, uh... way faster than i thought it was gonna really yes okay so we're gonna cut this big goofy piece that's sticking up off of here right here with this hole in it that we don't need anymore wham and then we're on the other side we're literally gonna chop this shit off. So straight line right here, straight line right here, and take all this bracketry off. So it's just gonna be the foot peg hanging out. Those are awesome. Yeah. I'm Super stoked over that. So where we're at is the stock linkage was over here on this side. So this would come up over the top. And now the pivot point that we have for our foot peg is down on the bottom, but the angle is so far that we need to get a spacer to go in here to attach the two. So I think what we're gonna try and do... I can do some research to see what we can get versus what we have to make, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, I've got to cut it. Brian's going to sit here and work until he figures it out. So, guys, that is the end of episode... This is 13. This is the episode... Oh, my God. Day 75 of Chase trying to do the outro. This is the end of episode 13. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoy this series and you think it's awesome, and if you want the finished motorcycle, make sure to check out the Patreon page. That is how we are able to fund the series and give this bike away and all the other bikes we do at the end of the show. Uh, this has been Brian. He's going to continue. I'm not working. Think. Yeah, he's not not working. Luke is behind the camera. And guys, I'm Chase on two wheels. Thank you guys so much for watching the Strike Bike Group episode. We'll see you on the next one, which will be out on Christmas Day. Ho, 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 mother. All right, we need a two and a half inch spacer. Oh my God. Outro the video's group. over. Get him to stop. I, uh, I, I cannot. I cannot. I just, I would really, really like to finish this thing like yesterday. Outro crew, hashtag Brian stop working in the comments. That's how we'll know. See you guys on the next one.